what is up you guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is hannah if you're not new welcome back tis the season for fall this video isn't so much me showing you guys different clothing products or it's not really a haul it's more outfits that you guys can put together for fall to get inspired my look is very simple i'm not super extravagant with like accessories and different pieces i like like a very simple clean basic look i don't know how else to explain it to be completely honest but i put together six Six outfits that I am obsessed with that I'll probably look back on this video as inspiration throughout the fall season and so I hope you guys can get inspired too I'm going to put the formula I call it a formula because honestly fashion is a science sometimes I'm gonna put the formula for these outfits on the bottom of the screen as the outfits pop up so that you guys can take little pieces from the outfit or you can get staple ideas from the outfit and incorporate it into your own also if you guys end up using any of these outfit ideas and you end up posting on Instagram or your Instagram story, please, please, please tag me. I would love, love, love to see it. So go ahead and follow my Instagram down below. Also, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into it. If you see me looking down at my phone, it's because I have the outfits on my phone. That's how I'm going to explain it to you guys. I don't have a great memory. I can't memorize all these outfits. There's six of them. I just, that would be asking a lot. The first outfit that we have is this plaid skirt with black booties and a black little mock turtle neck top the staple piece for this outfit is the plaid skirt i think plaid is very in the season it's also very fall fall inspired i think it's in pretty much every fall season so i love little plaid elements and outfits you could replace this plaid skirt with either plaid pants or plaid joggers or plaid shorts for me i love a good plaid skirt i just think it looks very elegant and fun and flirty you could replace the booties with tennis shoes to make this more casual it's kind of up to you next outfit that we have for you guys is a sweater top with a pair of jean shorts and some Doc Martens. I don't know about you guys, but I live in Virginia, which I guess is technically considered the South. And so for the majority of fall, or at least the beginning of fall, it is very warm outside, like 70, 75 degrees. And so like a lot of the fall outfits that are like sweaters or jeans or something like that, it's like too, it's pretty much too warm to wear them until the very end of the fall season. So I wanted a nice little transitional outfit, a long sleeve sweater top with a a pair of jean shorts is such an iconic look with a pair of booties or you could even replace the Doc Martens slash booties with a pair of tennis shoes. One of my go-to outfits for transitioning into fall from summer to fall. I am obsessed with this look and I know that you guys would be obsessed with it too. Next outfit that we have is this button down cardigan with a pair of ripped crop jeans and my Air Force Ones. These button down cardigans have made a comeback this season. I bought this top a year ago when they weren't really a thing. Like I weren't really a trend but I just love the style and wow these crop cardigans are on like every single website I've looked at under their fall category I don't know why they're all of a sudden on trend but I'm 100% here for it and I just think that it spruces up a very simple outfit you can throw on a crop button cardigan you don't even have to put anything under it if you wanted to you could put a cami and like unbutton it halfway or button the middle but I like wearing it with nothing under it and then a pair of your favorite 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 jeans and then a pair of street shoes I chose to pair my Air Force Ones with these. I would also pair this with like Vans. You could even throw like Doc Martens or something along with it, but I just think that the button-down cardigan is very in the season and it's such a staple piece. The next outfit that we have is a pair of ripped jeans with the Air Force Ones again, but this time we're pairing it with a nude bodysuit. Nude is like the perfect fall color. I don't even know if nude is technically a color, but we're gonna make it a color. So nude is the perfect fall color. Pair it with your favorite jeans and shoes like the previous outfit and it makes for such an iconic simple outfit but it also looks very fallish in addition throw on a little plaid blazer I told you I'm obsessed with plaid I don't know what it is but throw on a little plaid blazer over this and it just spruces up the outfit a little bit as an extra oomph, a little additional element that we all love to see I was looking through Pinterest so a lot of these it, outfits that I'm listing are actually inspired by Pinterest and I was looking through Pinterest and an oversized blazer with a pair of ripped jeans and a crop top or a bodysuit is so 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 in and I love it. I just think it's a very cool way to take a traditionally formal clothing element and then turn it into street style. I just think that that's so cool. The next outfit that we have is the exact same pair of jeans. Throw on a pair of Doc Martens booties and an oversized sweatshirt and there you go. This is probably the most basic fall outfit that you could probably come up with 
but this is like my go-to outfit in the fall i think it's comfy it's casual it's cool you look like you just literally like rolled out of brooklyn we we love to see it so i paired this new york sweatshirt with a pair of my favorite jeans and my doc martin for this look i'd probably throw my hair up in a bun just because i feel like the el the outfit itself kind of makes a statement so i wouldn't want like my hair to be down this is also pinterest inspired but i've worn this for years it's like my go-to outfit because i think it's so simple and it's comfy and it's cool like you're, you're gonna be you're gonna look very cool in this to be honest next outfit that we have is another transitional piece from summer so throughout the summer i gained a new understanding and love and obsession for biker shorts and crop tops i that was like one of my go-to outfits this summer i went from having zero pairs of biker shorts to five in less than a month and i am not ready for them to go away yet but the good news is that if you live in a state where it's still kind of warm in the fall and you're transitioning from summer to fall you can still wear these and you can make it fall related by just throwing a huge oversized jacket or an oversized jean jacket like you saw in this video on top of your basic biker short and crop top outfit and boom you have a fall outfit it's as simple as that it's comfy it's casual you don't have to retire the biker shorts yet and then you add the fall element to it i think this outfit would not only be cute with a jean jacket but also a huge oversized like corduroy jacket or a huge oversized trench coat something of that sort i or even like a huge flannel over the top we loved it we love a good flannel moment in the fall as well so that is another way that i would spruce up this outfit but this is like just such a good staple transition piece for the fall as well all right and that is it for this fall outfits idea like I said I, my style is very basic and simple I don't love shopping for fall because fall is like literally less than a month for me in Virginia so I like taking pieces that are already in my closet to transition them into fall and then I just buy things for winter so I like combine my summer clothes and my winter clothes to create fall clothes literally every single piece I just pulled from my summer closet and my winter closet to make fall clothes and so I wanted to make that very clear that this isn't something that you need to go out and buy these elements you probably have them in your closet at home and you can make these outfits yourself for free which we love so that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching like i said before if you guys are not subscribed already don't forget to subscribe down below give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you guys next time bye